Hi, I'm the Global Runner and I'm aiming to run sub 230 for the marathon aged 50 with the first step being sub 240 in the Carmel Marathon in three weeks time. This week I'm on the beautiful Hawaiian island of Maui and I'll take you through the rundown of my week's training with three weeks to go before my marathon. If you watched my last video, you'll remember that I did a 28 mile run on Friday last week. So this week, Saturday was a rest day with a little bit of pool running. Sunday was a few strides on the beach in the morning and I had planned on doing a tempo run in the evening, but life got in the way, so that didn't happen. Monday, I did a 60 minute run, nice and easy, and had a few strides at the end just to get myself ready for this. Okay, it's so early, that's the moon that's up, not the sun. It is 6 a.m. and I'm off to do a 10 mile marathon pace workout. So I ran into a miscreant. This guy ran 227 last year, but he's aged open because he's a year younger than me. So we're no, gonna- same age. Same age? Yeah, 50. 50 at the summer. Oh, there you go. Okay, so a couple of old men <laughs> out for a fast run. Let's give it. All right. First mile, six flat. Trying to keep up with this guy. <laughs> mile two, 601. Oh, Got done video. Three, 556. Ooh, spicy. Spicy. Four, 559. Terrible views though. Five, halfway, 5.58. Gotta find somewhere to turn around now. Could be interesting. Mile six, 5.54. I think we found our groove and I'm liking it. There's a bike, yeah. 5.56. How do you like them apples? I don't like them apples. Cruising. Eight, 5.55, and smell the finish. Definitely don't die. Nope. Nine, 5.55. All right, last one was 5.44. I've got this guy to blame. He was Sorry, looking nothing. so good. That was awesome. Looking really Always good. Always good running with this guy. Good motivation. So with about half a mile to go, this guy said, let's finish strong. Picture the finish line. And off he went. Yeah, I couldn't hang on. But that was great. Really good running. So I've done my cool down. Yeah, I'm happy with that. 10 miles and 59.27. So that's 16K and 59.27. The hilarious thing was my friend there, when I told him we were doing 10 miles at marathon pace, he thought it was 10 by a mile. So we got to the end of mile one and he was like, why aren't we slowing down? And so I had to break it to him at that point that it was actually 10 miles at marathon pace, not 10 by one mile. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I mean, kudos to him for hanging in there. I think that would have crushed my spirit, but he uh, really hung in there and uh, was a real help. So what is it, 1%? of my whole self is, oh, what's it, Pip Togi says, 1% of my, 1% of my whole is less than, no, 100% of my self is less than 1% of the team or something like that. I'm sure I've brutalized that, but anyway, time to recover. Wednesday, I did a 45 minute jog and I actually felt really tired. And it was at this point that I went and looked back at my training and realized that I haven't done as many tempo runs, like the longer marathon pace runs as I'd wanted. There were a couple that I had to bail on because I wasn't feeling great. And there were a few that I missed out on. 
And I really think that that is a gap in my training at the minute. And so the plan is to make sure that this Sunday I get a longer marathon pace run in two weeks before the marathon. I have done a few fast finish long runs, which I think are helpful. But looking back, I think there is a gap in my training with respect to the marathon paced runs. And I plan to address that this weekend. Okay, a bit of deja vu in this video. There's the moon again. It's 48 hours later, and this time the tempo run is shorter. Okay, another day, another tempo. Bumped into this guy again, and he's gonna drag me round a slightly faster tempo today, but a lot shorter. So 20 minutes, we're gonna start off hopefully at 5.40 a mile, and build into it, see where we end up. Mile one, Mile three, 5.25, and I got dropped. Look at that guy. Oh man. That's how much distance he put into me. Huh. And I ran hard. Average pace, 5.29 a mile. Dude, you are on fire. Yeah, that was good. Oh. That felt good. I did How a... You? Well... It was great. I did a 5.25 third mile. Yeah. And you put at least five seconds in me. <laughs> <laughs> so I did that about three or four weeks ago in Toronto, average 36. Calgary about 10 days ago, average 5.42. And just did that average 5.29. Woo! 5.29 sounds 10 seconds faster than 5.30. Oh, it sure does. <laughs> sure you does. must have been. What was your kilometer average? Uh, 323 per kilometer. 323 per kilometer. But he is only 49. I just That's got right. to throw that just out. Just 49, there. yeah. Just, you know. I have youth on my side. He does. He's got six However, months. However, the one thing I will say, I, I had an important job today. So that's what uh, gave me that little kick at the end. <laughs> to what? To make me? No, yeah. no, no. It was, <laughs> to drop me. <laughs> was to create a tether, the virtual tether to pull you. Yeah, that. It, to be fair, I would have been a lot lazier without you. I hope that helped. It very much did. I felt a lot like this though, when I was behind you. Felt like a big fat whale <laughs> dragging my backside behind you. Done. That was a good one. Uh, it's so much better running with someone. He absolutely dragged me around that. You can't deny the benefit of having people to run with. Like it's, it's, it's night and day. So that sees the wrap on another week. I'm going to take tomorrow off, let the body recover, and then I've got a plan for a massive session on Saturday, which will be two weeks out, which hopefully will really push things forward. And at that point, I can then start looking towards a taper. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I've got over a thousand now and I really appreciate it. So please feel free to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.